Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to a, another video and we are here playing some more Destiny 2. Now, today's episode is quite a special episode. It's currently like, what, two and a half weeks or something like that uh, since Destiny released? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check the numbers. Um, but Faction Rallies is now available. The uh, Destiny servers went down yesterday and there was an update for the game. For me, it was around 800 megabytes. I think it's a lot larger if you have it on disc because on digital copy all of that stuff was already there um so all they have to do really is update it with the licenses and whatnot um but yeah we're back and we are in the tower and as you can see there are three new people in the tower there is ex ex executor or is executor i want to go with executor because i don't like the word ex executor i don't think he's an executor kind of guy um so we have the new monarchy dude um we then have the dead orbit guy and um the future walk up lady lady robot so we have a quest to go and speak to i like jalal i think his name is i i i jalal but yeah anyway <laughs> the uh, the valley factions is the faction that rallies i can't speak to this guy it's really early in the morning i woke up and the update was here and i thought you know what i need to do a video for these guys but it's killing me um but yeah we're doing it anyway doing it anyway um but yeah we have to speak to this guy for the faction rally event. As so I'm going to speak to this guy and let's have a look. Then I'll see the future among the stars. Awake from this decaying system. Join us and you'll us. see the world's beyond imagining. This place is by the temporary okay. refuge. Winners Earth offerings. Requires that orbit victory. If humanity is to survive the dangers orbit victory. to come, we must leave this well, anyway, so we have to do something to get this apparently. Um, mm, damn, high impact. Come with with high power rounds. Support dead orbit. Oh, that is looking pretty tasty to me right there. Ships a Jade Rabbit-esque scout rifle. So, bottom me, guys. In today's episode, we're going to be going through as much information as I know about it, and then obviously what we learn from this episode right now, because this is live, um, or at the time of recording it is anyway. And we're also going to be going through the weapons and stuff like that that you can get. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys stick around and check it out. So first off, like I said, we have this Haunted Earth. You can go between a um, iron sight and a loop, which I think is the one that you get on the skate lot. We have the tactical mag, high cal rounds, so definitely high cal rounds. And then we have this one, increased ammo reserves, faster reload when crouched. Okay. And then this weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sight. Okay, not bad, not bad. So uh, yeah, you can then pledge your allegiance to this guy. And it works the same way as everything else does. As you're doing things like strikes, raids... Nightfalls, public events, any any anything that you would usually do to get tokens, you then get um, faction tokens as well. I, th I think it's as well. I think it's as well. So yeah, this is what the dead orbit armor looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I like the little cloak. That's really cool looking. The helmet is pretty awesome as well. Um, it's a very interesting set of armor. And then these are the weapons that we can choose from. Or at least we could get as rewards. We have the three graves pulse rifle, which yet again is another... Um, really high range, really high stability um, pulse rifle with Outlaw, Extended Mag, Flared Mag, well, the Mark 15 lens and the Model 6 loop. Let's look at it with a shader on. Pretty te Oh, I like the wood. Oh, that wood's really cool. It makes me not want to put a shader on it. And um, we can then get the Dire Promise. Now, these are those two we've seen from previous um, things. People have found them in-game. This has got really nice stats. Not super good range, but really high stability, really high handling and really high reload speed. Which for a uh, hand cannon is really nice. Um, then you could choose appending mag to get append yeah appending mag to get a little bit more ammo and a little bit more range. And then you could even go steady hand, which I would probably go if I got this just to get that extra little bit of stability. Because in this game, range on hand cannons isn't as important as it used to be. We then have the eleventh hour sidearm. Um, looks pretty cool. Looks like the other standard vice storms that we've seen. Um, we have the rampage extended mag. Alloy magazine and then a couple of other sides. This is not looking super promising. I'm not super hyped about sidearms. Never liked them. Uh, and then we have the gravity slingshot. Oh, I like the name of that already. It's going to have wood on it as well. Oh, damn. That looks nice. That looks nice. And um, we have faster reload when crouched, which is perfect for crouching around corners with a shotgun. Oh, amazing. Um, accurized rounds, longer distances. And then that gives it a little bit more ammo and a little bit more stability and reload speed at the cost of range. And then we have that which that one's kind of trash smooth ball's kind of trash now um, it makes it so you've got more projectile spread um so definitely rifle barrel um but yeah it looks like a pretty balanced decent shotgun um it's a high impact one which is great definitely great 
and then obviously you get your additional rewards down here at the bottom. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So now let's make our way up to the future walk-up lady, which thankfully is just right here. Look at everyone going over here and checking out all these people. Now this is one of my favorite, most favorite rooms from the tower, man. Oh, these look amazing. I want one. I want one in my room. That is crazy. They're just like when sitting full of the war court predicted the red war. No one believed. I they laughed at us. They called me. Future Walk Up predicts and prepa food. prepares for war really constantly, attacking. endlessly, right. accurately. Fight throws and your fights for the city in all its matches. Okay, so the win is offerings this time. Uh, so I'm going to guess it says requires future walk up victory. So I'm going to guess that like when you pick it up, they'll give you a quest to do or something, and this is the weapon you'll get. So far, that all bit's kind of tugging at me with that sexy scout rifle. Not gonna lie. So we have heart of time. First off, I love. I don't. It's kind of weird to say, it, but I really like future walk up's color style. It's very different and very out there, and it even comes across when you're putting like shades on it and stuff like that. The fact that they all have like different. I, I don't know, I just, I've always liked it. Like, look how cool that looks. I really do. And we have Dragonfly. Wow, that is... Okay. That is something else. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. And then we have Steady Rounds and Tactical Mag. And the Impulse S MS3 or the Candle. That's pr that's nice. Dragonfly. And then we have, what's this? Slightly faster reload when magazine's empty. Okay. That's nice though. That's that's good as well. These are really good weapons so far. We have a really nice scout rifle. We have a pulse rifle with practically um, firefly from D1, except it's an elemental explosion. So for things like um, nightfalls and stuff like that that have burns on them, that thing is going to be absolutely amazing. So now let's quickly run all the way back over to the other side of the, um, of the thing. I, I mean, I think that they should have always kept the three factions together. Um, cause it's all, it was the same from Destiny 1, you know, Dead Orbit, Future Walker were all the way at one side of the tower, and then New Monarchy was all the way back at the furthest other side of the tower. Um, but yeah, f uh, New Monarchy I went with in Destiny 1 quite a lot, just because I've always liked New Monarchy's colour scheme. They've never had the most amazing weapons, as we know from Destiny 1 with the, um, the sidearm and stuff like that. But, I've always, I've always liked New Monarchy, I don't know why, but so far, at this point, Dead Orbit is definitely... I'm swinging in favor of Dead Orbit at the moment because I really want that scout rifle. Really want it. New Monarchy believes a strong Earth is essential for a strong humanity. Okay. So, we will mm. survive together. Yeah, this and is not. not surrender I'm not looking at this anyway. and going, wow, I want this. We, we have high, ca oh, high caliber rounds. During the Red War than the other factions combined. High caliber rounds. With your support, we could On a sidearm. What do you say? That sounds overpowered. Um, it has snapshot sights so for faster ADS time. Meh. Follow to a deeper ammo reserve, slightly faster reload of magnetic is empty. Eh. Never been a fan of the full auto ones. Oh, that's not bad actually. So you can get really high stability and then high cal rounds on it at the cost of a decent amount of range. Maybe this could be good. Maybe not. Uh, oh, do you know what we didn't look at? The other weapons for um Peach Walker. Let's look at the other weapons for New Monarchy then while we're here. So we have the restoration of whatever that is, V I I I I. Um, that would be what? Five eight? Restoration eight. Uh, we then have quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Let's look at the base stats. First off, high rate of fire. Um, low stability, decent range, decent handling, decent reload speed. So we have appended mag. That seems pretty good. I would go that at the cost of a little bit of range. Um, the unfortunate thing is, you're not getting any more stability. So that looks like a bit of a no-no to me. Then we then have this one, the Song of Justice 6. Is that 6? Yeah. There you go. That is the Hake one from the from what we've seen so far they have changed the name it was originally frontiers justice but that's the one we've seen i think oh it's silence though this one mm -hmm. so we have auto loading holster we all know what that does armor piercing rounds which is pretty nice extended mag which is also pretty nice that reload is ugh, though then we have the ld watchdog and the sc hollow oh i love the hollows on a scout rifle oh love the hollow sight okay that's looking pretty nice as well i just don't like the fact that you only get a um uh, thingy. Oh, damn that armor, though. Oh, that helmet is amazing. <laughs> that helmet is amazing. You know what? I'm digging this armor set. Armor set. That armor set is really nice. Oh, man. You, you, you monarchy people again with your sexy armor. Right, we have Grave Robber. High car, high car rounds again on a submachine gun. What are they doing? 
They are literally turning the Crucible into just a massive cancer fest with all these high cloud rounds. So that's a pretty decent looking submachine gun. Well rounded one. Then we have the Unification 7. Which is, I do believe, a single fire. Wait, what? A full auto slug based shotgun. With high caliber rounds. And increased fire rate. And increased ability handling. Okay. That could potentially be good. Potentially. Potentially. Alright. Keep protecting this. So I'm gonna quickly run back over to Future War Cult and show you the armor really fast. I won't make you stick with me for the run, so I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright guys, we are back and we're just heading back up here into this amazing room with Future War Cult. Let's see what you've got. My apologies for not checking before. Um so we have the armor. Let's have a look at what the armor set looks like. It looks like the Nessus stuff to me. Yeah, yeah. Nah. No, that's not doing it for me. Don't like that at all. Do not like that. Um, but yeah, weapons-wise, we have... Oh, a hand can... Oh, man, that impact. Is that Dragonfly? Oh, time to payload. What? What the hell? Projectiles attached to enemies explode after a short delay. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, now I want to be with Future War Cult just to get that hand cannon. Are you mad? That's amazing. That's a weird perk that I've never seen before. So we have a pended mag or alloy magazine, which uh, apparently gives it... Oh, fast reload when the magazine's empty, I see, I see. And then some other sites. Damn, that's freaking sick, though. Oh, no. Why are you going to do me like this? Then we have the number. We've seen this one already. Um, high impact reserves, so rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. Extended mag, ricochet rounds, flash HCS, or the candle PS. Decent, decent. Then we have the... The the corrector, um, I'll set it apart. We have the corrector, the spark PS, we have the transmission MS7, which is a long zoom scope, I do believe. We have high caliber rounds, which is really, really nice on a scout rifle, puts it up there with MIDA. Uh, it's oh, it's a MIDA based, oh, it's a MIDA one, it's got 200 rounds per minute, like MIDA, and then we have flared magwell for the increased stability and reload speed. Oh, okay. And then Rampage. Okay. I could see I could see myself using this. And then is that the one that makes it... Oh, that's superb handling. Oh, this is like a Mida. Guys, we may have something that can actually challenge the Mida multi-tool and win. This is the blah, 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 Corrector by Future War Cult. Keep your eyes on that one. Keep your eyes on that one, boys. We then also... Boys and girls, sorry. And other genders. I don't assume genders. We have field prep. <laughs> Faster reload when crouch. First off, damn. Does that look sexy? Holy crap. It's a mid rate of fire. It all stats are kind of balanced on this. We have alloy magazine, which is. I would probably go for that. As opposed to steady rounds on a sniper. Then we have a nice, lovely short zoom scope right here. Um, See, so yeah, I'd probably go those two right there. Seems pretty nice. So that's a pretty good. Pretty good haul right there that we've got. Damn. So now the question is, who on earth do we go for? She has the most amazing scout rifle that could possibly challenge Mida. And, and a hand cannon that the projectiles stick to targets and blow up. But the armor doesn't look that good. So who do I go for? Uh, eh. Welcome back. Eh. I really want this scout rifle. Uh, oh, wow, I don't even have enough. Oh, okay. What? Oh, got 50,000 glimmer? Are you crazy? Okay, so, okay, what can we get from this again? Three graves, dire promise, 11th hour, gravity. Okay, so I'm not too... Uh, the scout rifle was really the only thing I wanted from there. You know what? Oh, I'm so tempted to go for... um To go for this lady in here right now. So tempted. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I mean, I can go for different ones on different characters, but mainly for those two weapons in there. That is amazing. That is amazing. And that is amazing. Hmm. All the weapons from this lady are dope. It's just the armor's trash. But you know what? 
I'm going to do it. I, I need to see what that hand cannon's like and whether that scout rifle can stand up to a Mida. I'm going to test it for you guys. Take this and fight the <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to do the other ones on my other characters, obviously. Um, so, yeah, let's just go to our director right now and let's see what these quests are. We have destroy enemy supplies in the lost sectors of the EDZ today. Destroy enemy supplies. Okay. Alright. Alright, I'm going to head to orbit, guys. Um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I will be doing another video on exactly what destroying those things involves. Um, kind of like, like a live sort of uh, walkthrough, I guess. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully it have helped you to make your mind up. Um, so basically, the information that I have so far is... Mnemonic has some pretty amazing looking armor and some decent weapons. Um... Dead Orbit obviously always has amazing armor. Cool, cool, cool looking armor. It also has a few really cool guns, but mainly only like two. So you got the Pulse Rifle and the Scout Rifle. The other ones don't seem that good. Mnemonic has some okay weapons, but so far for me, Future War Cult has the best selection of weapons. So that's the one I would advise going for first. Just to try out those really cool weapons. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps you guys make your mind up before you went into it. And yeah, hopefully you find a little bit of something out from this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and drop it down in the comment section below. And if you guys are new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next video.